Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy, Gamer back again with another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be coming to you guys with the top 10 Clash of Clans world records, in my opinion. Uh, so, the first five are going to be unbreakable records, uh, which means they are records that have been set previously and are unable to be broken due to uh, the nature of the records, um, when they were set, and all that. I'll kind of go into a bit more detail um, a little bit later into the video. And then the other five are going to be breakable world records that, if you wanted to, technically anyone watching this video could go out and break break these records um, by themselves so that's pretty cool but before this video starts if you guys want to go ahead a uh, link in the description I just made a second channel yesterday I'm gonna be uploading um, private server tutorials because I don't really think that goes with the vibe I want on this channel I don't really want to be uploading videos on this channel but I think those videos are really really fun to make and really fun to produce um, so if you guys want to go ahead and check out the channel link will be in the description to that but let's hop right into the top 10 Alright, so this record was set on December the 27th, 2013 by Icarus. Um, it's the Fort Knox achievement, and it is the first player to achieve 2 billion gold grab in Clash of Clans. So, um, if you guys do not know, Clash of Clans came out in around two, uh, 2012. I think it was April or uh, somewhere around that time in 2012. So, at that point, um, Icarus had been playing the game for probably a year and a half, if not a little bit less than a year and a half. And I've been playing the game for around three years or two and a half years of active game time. And I myself only have 350 million gold grab. Now, I don't grind every single day. I might play an hour or two a day of Clash of Clans. So I'm not, of course, I'm not expecting to have 2 billion gold grab. But in a year and a half time, this guy was able to get 2 billion gold grab in Clash of Clans, especially when it was really early on. Um, a lot of the mechanics still um, are way different back then uh, compared to what they are today. So it's pretty crazy how Icarus was able to get 2 billion gold grab um, just with the troops and the town halls they had at the time. Because I think Town Hall 8 was the highest town hall uh, possible at that point in the game but anyways moving on to the next world record this world record was set in april of 2012 and this is the longest active player achievement so this was set by argo magnum i hope i'm saying his name right i mean all these records are going to be in the description there's a website it's the clash of clans wiki i went on there and i pecked the the top 10 interesting most interesting ones to me so there's not like a set top 10 list um, but I just compiled the top 10 uh, records that I thought were the coolest and that you guys could relate to the most. Um, so this is the longest active player. Now, I once again, I checked his profile and it seems like he's inactive. So I think what it means by longest active player is the first player to ever play the game. Um, I checked his profile. He has like level 2 wall breakers, level 2 troops. He is in like, he has 800 trophies. So I'm pretty sure that this guy is fully inactive. Um, so I don't know why it says longest active player, but I'm assuming by the record title It just means the longest player the first player in clash of clans So this basically means he has had a base for five years in clash of clans um, And I can only imagine what his base would look like if he would have stuck through the five-year journey that clash of clans has been on um, But once again, that is a long time to play a mobile video game He has probably forgot about the video game to be honest, but maybe he has a second account I'm not really sure but it kind of is interesting on why it's the longest active player, but yet his account is pretty inactive. All right, so the next world record is Henry the Fourth, or a tough act to follow. It's the first player to reach 4,000 trophies. Now, the reason I picked this world record is because it's a pretty controversial one. So if you guys do not know who George Yao is, he is, of course, the first player to hit 4,000 trophies, but he also hacked the game, or... I'm not sure there was a lot of speculation around 2014-2013 uh, about George Yao because there's some really like weird and strange things going on. Um, I'm pretty sure he owned 5 iPads and like 12 hours a day sat at home and played Clash of Clans on his 5 iPads. It was kind of weird. He was kind of a no life at the game. I mean, I don't have a problem if you're a no life, but he basically had like four or five different accounts right in front of his face for half of his day. And I believe he had some sort of X mod hack or some hack that made bases easier for him to find because uh, I think he was given the official record, but I think it came out later that he was hacking or he was using game mechanics that weren't supposed to be in the game. So that's the reason I picked this uh, world record. It, it kind of brought back memories watching Chief Pat videos, interviewing George Yao and uh, all of that good stuff back in the day with all these crazy world records going on. But the uh, sixth world record on today's list is going to be Paul the Third, or sneaking in the big point league, kind of a weird name. Um, and it's the first Tunnel 10 to reach the 6,000 trophy range. So this was set on July 7th, 2017. So uh, today I'm recording this video on July 18th. 
that basically means um, the record was set 11 days ago, which is kind of a phenomenal. Like, to think about that, records are being updated so often on this, but it's the first title Tim to hit 6,000 trophies. And once again, the record was set 11 days ago. So this guy, Paul, was able to get 6,000 trophies as a title 10. I'm not sure how many hours he had to put in a day to get 6,000 trophies because I know most of the uh, people in the 6,000 trophy range are Town Hall 11s. I'm a Town Hall 9 around the 4,000 cup range. So I can just imagine how many hours, how long it took for him to get to um, 6,000 trophies as a Town Hall 10, um, but kind of a short one, just wanted to shout out Paul and this world record because I think it's pretty cool that it was set only 11 days ago. Uh, now going on to the last unbreakable world record, uh, this is the 300 or the experience of a lifetime, the first player to achieve the level 300. Now, once again, this is not a crazy, crazy achievement by any means, uh, but the reason that I chose this is because um, I kind of have some personal experience with this. So the guy who set this record, Brandon, actually has a YouTube channel, and um, I think he started making videos around his level 200 journey um, because his his goal was to reach level 300, be the first player in the world to get to level 300. Obviously, he has met this goal, he has reached it, and he set the world record, um, but I actually watched the video of him getting to level 300 and uh, setting this world record two years ago. I don't exactly know if he still makes YouTube videos, but I do remember watching this video from him. So it's not an insane achievement by any means, and it was set around two and a half years ago, but still, I kind of had a personal experience with this, and maybe some of you guys watching this video as well have even watched the same video that I have, him getting to level 300 and setting this world record. Um, but on to the first breakable world record. So this record is called Trophy Attic, and it's the highest trophy count ever. So I'm not sure when this uh, trophy record was set. Maybe sometime while I had taken a, was taking a break from the game. But uh, Black August was able to get 6,508 trophies in Clash of Clans. Now, looking on Clash of Clans right now, the current uh, record holder for the highest trophies is uh, some Red Dome deal. He has 6,366. So he's around 150 trophies off of the world record. So I don't see um, a new world record being set this season possibly next season in the uh, August uh, sort of season, but I definitely see within the next two to three months a new world record being hit in Clash of Clans. Um, 6,508 trophies is a huge, huge milestone that's crazy. I don't know who Black August is or how he hit that, but he obviously did because um, there are only a few players in the world about the 6,300 trophy mark, and this guy got to the 6,500 trophy mark. So uh, just thought I'd throw that world record in right there. And our next world record is the Stone Cold Raider record. It is the most attacks won in a single season. Now, <laughs> the number of attacks this guy won in a 30-day season is 70,400. Um, I don't know how many, I think that's over 2,000 attacks per day he had to win. Um, my guess as to how he did this was he went down to bronze trophy or like the bronze league or the silver league and assuming he's probably a max town hall 11 he dropped maybe like five or ten balloons they wrecked the base he got back out he went back into a rage because i don't know how in the world you can get 2,000 attacks per day in clash of clans and the thing that's even crazier is there's only 1440 minutes in a single day so this guy was averaging um, almost two attacks per minute if he was on 24 7 so i have no clue how this world record was set it's i don't understand like how like even getting kicked off for personal breaks he must have been on for around 20 hours a day grinding this getting in two attacks per minute winning every single attack so so I'm not exactly sure how Brute ended up getting this world record, but it's a crazy world record. I don't know if it's ever going to be beaten because of how insanely um, time-consuming it would be to set this world record again. Uh, but on to the next one. It is Richie Rich, and it's the highest amount of gems owned at once. So uh, the total gems that Dracula owned at one point was 1.2 million gems. So... I did some math before doing this video, and Dracula, depending on how he purchases gems, either spent anywhere from $9,000 to $12,000 on those gems. Because if he were to buy the um, $100 package, I think it was 88 times, then he would have spent around $8,800 to get to the 1.2 million gem mark. Um, but if he were to spend a dollar for every 100 gems, then he would be spending around $12,000 for all of those gems. So anywhere from 12,000 to around $9,000, Dracula spent getting these gems. Now, I don't know why you need 
1 million gems in Clash of Clans, especially considering it cost around $10,000 uh, on average to get those gems. So personally, I'm never going to drop $10,000 on a video game, but he might be some um, guy living in Dubai being a billionaire, just wants to have some fun on the game. I'm not really sure who this guy is or why he dropped so much money, but I don't think anyone else in the world is ever going to top this record. So, so now on to the second to last record. It is Mr. Humble and is the lowest level player in Titan League. So once again, I chose this record because um, Pelican Tacos 3 actually made a YouTube video on it. So Pelican Tacos had a daily upload series of him grinding from, um, I think he's like a Tunnel 2 in Titan or like from Bronze League all the way up to Titans League. So Pelican Tacos, I don't know how he did it. I think he used like two or three friends and they ended up like sniping each other's base using the revenge system and he managed to get to Titans League. So obviously sniping the Town Halls does give you some XP. So that's why he is um, that level. Uh, if you did not snipe the Town Halls, he probably would be like level 10 as a Town Hall 2 um, up at Titans League, but still an insane record. And I mainly chose it because of the fact that he uh, made a YouTube video on it. It's, it went viral at the time. I think it has around like 2, 2.5 million views on um, the time of me recording this video. And on to the final record, guys. So uh, this record is called Insomniac and is the highest experience level. So the highest level right now in Clash of Clans is 471 the record holder is some guy with some chinese characters i cannot read those unfortunately but um if you guys go to the clash of clans wiki hall of fame i'll link that down in the description you can actually visit his profile and it looks to me like he is still active this guy has uh, almost 3,000 war stars he's won 150 attacks this uh this season and he's in titans league so he's still a pretty active player he is a fully maxed town hall 11 but it's pretty apparent that he is, uh, he's managed to donate quite a few troops. I'm trying to find out how many troops he's donated. Um, it only says 313,000, but of course, I know that's not true. Because for him to get to level 474, you would need to donate millions upon millions upon millions of troops in the game. So I think this website is a bit off with his achievement. But anyways, he is level 478 now, actually. Um, so on the website it says 471, but on the clashofstats.com it says 478. So I think a new world record has been set. They just need to update their uh, website. So 478, excuse me, is the highest level currently in Clash of Clans. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. I know it's a bit different. I've never made a top 10, but depending on how you guys like this kind of content, I might end up making more Clash of Clans top 5, top 10 videos. Um, but once again, depending on how you guys like it, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. And if you have any suggestions for top, uh, top video series that I should make, uh, also let me know in the comment section below. And other than that, it's been your boy, Duck of the Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace.